Hot Girl Summer has officially arrived, so celebrity health coach and nutritionist Karina Heinrich is here to explain why your diet may not be working. Now, so many people are making diet and nutrition mistakes every day, so I'm going to read a statement, and we're going to guess if it's fact or fiction, Heather. Okay. And Karina is going to tell us the truth. Okay. Are you ready? First, the more calories you cut, the more weight you lose. Fact or myth? That's a myth. That's a fact. Okay, so the answer is it's both fact and myth. So fact, you actually do need to cut calories this to lose weight. This is a question. Right? No, 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 no. But I'm going to debunk that a calorie is a calorie, okay? A good example. Okay. 100 calories of broccoli is very different on your body than 100 calories of cereal. Three ounces of salmon is going to look very different on the back of your legs than three <laughs> ounces of cookies. So oh, cut your calories, oh, but choose the, the right calories. Thing ever. <laughs> right? Because these are so good. These are... There is skip. There is As a skip. mother, I would just like to say this is actually a food group. <laughs> in the in the actual in the yeah, and in, the pink ones are a different category yeah, than the extra white points. ones. I just want you to know. <laughs> Up next, going gluten free will help you lose weight. I'm gonna say that's true. I'm gonna say false because people don't even know what gluten is myth okay so a lot of people do have sensitivity to digesting grains so they go gluten free but the real reason they're losing weight is because they're cutting out foods that we usually overeat so bread and pasta and pastry oh, right. and actually crackers so unless you have an allergy i say eat the real stuff unrefined really high fiber grains oh okay. right so you're right but that's why i lose weight when i go gluten free because then i don't eat any you don't eat any that's of this because i, I don't operate. like the gluten free version right because it tastes like cardboard oh, exactly it's horrible. yeah not good <laughs> Okay, this is a big one. Okay. Coffee can help boost your metabolism, fact or myth. Honey, you know, in my 20s, it was all about the coffee, the Diet Coke, and the, and cigarette. the cigarette. And I'm telling you, I was so skinny. It was so good. Girl, nothing was better when I used to go to Starbucks and get ever. that triple not that no foam latte true. But do not smoke. It is, yes, no smoking, but this is fact. It will boost your metabolism, give you energy, elevate our moods, and actually reduce our risk for depression. Oh, but wow. you want to stick to four cups total the day, and you need to drink it black, so no more creamer. Uh -uh. No, we can't cut out Wait, what, what about the non-dairy? I say drink it clean, drink it clean. Oh, great. Yeah. Well, Heather already got <laughs> to the wine, but we're going to get there. I was just holding it like a cup. <laughs> Juice cleanses help you lose weight. Fact or myth, Heather? Fact. If you're, it's like an income outgo. Like, if you're not taking in calories and you're just drinking, you know, juice for a couple days, I would say I'd lose weight. I'm going to say myth. It is actually a myth. Limiting our diet to nothing. liquid sugars is void of the fiber and the protein healthy fat. So here's a really great way to look at it. This apple has 75 calories, 4 grams of fiber. But a glass of freshly squeezed apple juice can exceed 300 calories and no fiber. Oh, wow. So for the health benefits, stick to whole fruit and vegetables. Damn. All right, this one always gets me. You should drink eight glasses of water a day. Fact or myth? Terry says that's ridiculous, but I like it. Okay, I like it too, but I think it's ridiculous too. My doctor told me if I look at my, if you can see your, like, writing through your your urine, yeah. that you drink <laughs> enough water. You are so smart. That's what I was going to say. It's a myth. We actually sometimes need more than eight cups, but you have to be the judge, and the best judgment is looking at your urine. The lighter it is, the more hydrated you are. So absolutely correct. My, Girl, kids, are, my kids are such a doctor's kids. Coco will do that. She'll look at the bowl and be like, oh, I'm drinking enough water. <laughs> <laughs> you should see that highlighter green stuff I'm doing out right now. Coachella. All right, let's talk about boo because everyone says cutting out alcohol will help you lose weight. I'm going to go with myth because I don't want to cut out alcohol. <laughs> oh, I'm going to say it's fact because once I start drinking, I am in the pantry and then it's back to the pink and white drinks. <laughs> it's actually a, a myth. You do not need to cut alcohol in order to lose weight. But you we need alcohol you. choices that are low in calories, low in carbs, and low in sugars. A really great option is tequila with a splash, splash of lime, seltzer, just a 
100 calories. That's me. 120 that's what I calories for wine. And just with rum and Diet Coke, just 90 calories. So you need to be alcohol savvy if you're going to drink alcohol. Who's drinking a Malibu and Diet these days? Like, <laughs> that's a good drink back in the Remember, pie. like, in high school, it was like a Midori and Club Soccer? Yes. Like 7,000 <laughs> calories. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we've all heard this one. Carbs make you fat. Fat or fiction? Well, I think good carbs have a lot of fiber in them, and that would be a uh, fiction. And I think, or myth. Myth. That's what I meant. I'm going to go yeah. fat. Okay. Okay, this is one of the biggest myths ever. It's Carbs are not the enemy, it's the type and the amount of carbs you're eating. So you want to stay away from refined carbs, sugars, sometimes gluten, and you want to focus on carbs that have a lot of fiber. So sweet potatoes, quinoa, oats, fruits and veggies. Smell that though. It just, no, it this is so a no-no. It shows up on your body in different ways that we don't want. Yeah. This is why, by the way, this is why I wear the retainer. So I don't even need a line. I'm That's just wearing it so I won't it on by summer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Karina. We Thank really you so appreciate it. <laughs> you guys for the cutest most incredible Instagram. Go to see <laughs> Karina at The Karina Method and check out her website, thekarinamethod.com. She has the best little protein balls you've ever tasted <laughs> in your life. This is a...